When you say cell cycle, this is a sequence of activities that cells undergo from being stem cells to becoming fully differentiated cells. Okay, so when you say cell cycle, these are the alternately dividing cells, those cells that are undergoing mitosis, and of course, those cells that appear to be resting. And these cells are, of course, those cells that are at uh, the interface part of your cell cycle. Okay, so again, when you say cell cycle, your cells are resting, then your cells are dividing. And of course, in turn, because of this, the products are going to be your specialized cells, your differentiated cells. So if you are going to form your stem cells into the different types of cells that you have in your body, that means you will have to to have your, your stem cells undergo the cell cycle. Okay, so again, you have uh, the different stages of your cell cycle. As we've mentioned, there are three major stages in the cell cycle. The first one would be your interface. The second one would be the, the M phase, or this is also called karyokinesis. Karyo actually means the nucleus, okay? So when you say karyokinesis, this would be the division of the nucleus, okay? So this is nuclear division. There are two types for this. There's, uh, you, you sometimes call this the M phase because your two types would be your mitosis and meiosis, okay? So mitosis and meiosis, these are the two different types of karyokinesis or, or nuclear division. Now, the last stage of your cell cycle is cytokinesis. This is cytoplasmic division, okay? So in here, in the third stage, your cytoplasm is divided, okay? So again, these are the three different stages of your cell cycle. You will be asked to, to um, answer about this later in your independent work, so make sure that you're listening. Again, you have your interface. This is known to be the longest stage in your cell cycle. If you are looking at the chart here for the cell cycle, your interface would be G1, that's S, and G2, okay? So all these three stages here are part of your interface. And so we say that your interface is 95% of your cell cycle. Now, a long time ago, people believed, scientists believed that interface is the resting period of the cell, okay? They believe that the cell is, is resting during, during your interface. But now we know that the cell is not actually resting during this stage. The cell is not dividing, it is not undergoing division, Vision, but it is still very busy, okay? So the cell is still very busy. The cell is trying to prepare the materials that it needs for mitosis, which is, of course, your karyokinesis. All right, so again, you have the three stages of the interface here. The first one is gap one, that's G1, okay? So that's G1 or gap one. Now you have your S phase, and the last one would be G2. So again, G here would mean gap. Okay, so that means gap. These are checkpoints in your cell cycle. Now, since G1 here, if you look at your chart, okay, G1 comes before the S phase. What happens during G1 is that your cell prepares for the S phase. Okay, so the cell here prepares all materials that it needs for the S phase. So cellular contents are duplicated, except, of course, for the chromosomes. Okay, so chromosomes are not, du not duplicated. The rest of the parts of your cells are duplicated during your G1. Okay, so again, G1, that is the cell's preparation for the S phase. Now, for the second stage of your inner phase, this is called the S phase, and S here actually means synthesis. Now, in science, when you say synthesis, this means production, okay, production or making. Now, S phase here, it is called the synthesis stage, it is called the S phase, because actually your, your DNA, your chromosomes are duplicated, your chromosomes are synthesized during the S phase. So this is called the, mo the most important part of your interface. This is also the longest part of your interface, okay? So again, G1 is just preparation for the S phase. During the S phase, your DNA, your chromosomes are duplicated. They are synthesized, they are formed, they are made during your S phase. Remember, your DNA chromosome is very important for an individual because this is going to, to direct the division that is going to happen in your cell, okay? So again, your chromosomes, your DNA dictates the different characteristics that you are going to have as an individual. Are you going to have curly hair? Are you going to have straight hair? Are you going to have fair skin, okay? Are you going to be tall? Are you going to be short? That is going to be dictated by your DNA, your chromosomes. And and so S phase here, very important because that is the part in your cell cycle where the chromosomes, where the DNA is replicated or duplicated.
Now, the last part of your interface there is G2. G2, the cell here double checks if the chromosomes that were duplicated have some errors. Okay, if there are some errors, there, there are some aberrations, there are some mutations, then there might be a need for, for some repairs. Okay, so G2, the cell is going to be double checked whether the DNA, the chromosomes that were sent, that were that were synthesized, that were made during the S phase, do not have any errors. Okay, so that's your G2. And then, of course, G2 is going to be the preparation of your cell for the M phase, which is your karyokinesis. Okay, now going to the second phase or second stage of your, your cell cycle, you have the M phase or karyokinesis. Again, when you say karyokinesis here, this is nuclear division. The nucleus is going to be divided. As we've mentioned, there are two types for your M phase, your mitosis and meiosis. Now, the difference here is in the type of cells that would undergo one or the other, okay? So your body cells, all types of your cells in your body would undergo mitosis except for your sex cells. Okay, so sex cells, sperm cells, and egg cells are the only ones, the only types of cells that would undergo meiosis. Okay, the rest of your body cells would undergo mitosis. Liver cells, heart cells, skin cells, brain cells, all this would undergo mitosis. Okay, so only sex cells would undergo meiosis. Now, uh, we will go to the different parts of, my, of mitosis after this. Now, the last part, of course, is cytokinesis. This is cytoplasmic division. And of course, after this, after cytokinesis, after all the stages, the three stages of your cell cycle, you are able to form two daughter cells, okay? You will be able to form two daughter cells from one single cell. Now, there is also an option for your cell. There is also what we call gap zero, okay? This is G0, where the cell would decide whether it should continue dividing or whether it should stop dividing, okay? So if this cell, for example, here, this is one of the daughter cells that you've formed after one round of the cell cycle. The cell now is going to decide, should I continue with the cell cycle? Should I continue dividing, okay? If it does, if it wants to continue dividing, then it is going to undergo another round of cell cycle. If not, then your cell is going to just exit the cell cycle, okay? That means the cell is now differentiated. The cell can now play um, one important role in your body, okay? It has already been specialized. It might be a skin cell. It might be a liver cell. It might be um, a cell in your stomach. Okay, so again, these are the different parts of your cell cycle. And now we are going to discuss them one by one. Okay, so we will be um, talking about them one by one. Okay, now again, we've mentioned about the interface. Okay, so we, we said this is the longest stage in your cell cycle. This is a time between cell divisions. That means, again, remember, we said it is not true that the cell is resting during the interface. It is not dividing, but it's still very busy. Okay, so we say this is the time between cell divisions. DNA here is copied. Your chromosomes are copied. That is during the S phase of your inner phase. And the centrioles, do you remember your centrioles? These are the macaroni looking structures inside your animal cells. They're also duplicated in preparation for mitosis, one type of your end phase. Okay, there's rapid growth and there's also um, a lot of metabolic activities that happen inside your cell. The nucleolus is still visible during your interface. Okay, remember your nucleolus, that's the condensed form of your DNA, which is found in your nucleus. Okay, now always remember your interface, that's the part of the cell cycle, which is the longest, but this is not part of mitosis. Okay, it's not part of your mitosis. Mitosis would be after your, your interface. Now we go to the different part of your mitosis. Again, as I've mentioned, we are going to be talking about mitosis today as one form of your end phase, one form of your karyokinesis. Your meiosis will be discussed in... Um, in the following weeks. Okay, now for your mitosis here, you have four major steps. Okay, four, ma four major stages in your mitosis. There's prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay, for you to be able to remember this easily, you can just use the acronym PMAT. Okay, so then again, that's PMAT, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, okay? Now, what happens during each stage of mitosis? We are going to learn that in the following slides. The first stage here, again, is prophase. That's your P. 
the first and longest phase of your mitosis. In here, the DNA coils and condenses into your rod-shaped chromosomes, okay? So your chromosomes are formed. These are the condensed forms of your DNA, okay? So your, your chromosomes here, these are the ribbon-like structures inside your, your cell during the prophase. Nucleus and nucleolus disappear. Here, the centrioles move to opposite sides or opposite ends of the cell. There is the formation of your spindle fibers. Spindle fiber here, these are microtubules that radiate from your centrosomes, okay? So these are your centrioles. Remember, only your animal cells have centrioles, and these centrioles are going to be duplicated during the interphase. Now, during the prophase, during prophase, the first stage of mitosis, what happens is that there will be spindle fibers that would radiate, that would come from your your centrioles okay these spindle fibers are very important during cell division and you are going to see that in the following slides okay so again this is prophase as you can see i have used a different color for the term condenses because this is the most important event in prophase okay most important event in prophase is the condensation the coiling of the dna okay so again that's your prophase the first and longest phase in mitosis now we go to the second phase this is your metaphase your metaphase the second stage of mitosis this is the shortest okay this is the shortest phase shortest stage in mitosis in here the spindle fibers attach to the centromeres i will be explaining that then you have chromosomes that get aligned at the equator and are held in place by your kinetochore fibers now this here is the most important event in your metaphase in your metaphase your chromosomes are aligned in the equator or at the equator the the middlemost portion of your cell okay so again this is the most important event in metaphase that's the alignment of your chromosomes at the equator of the cell okay now again here as we've mentioned the spindle fibers these fiber-like structures that come from your centrioles they extend and they bind your chromosomes at the center we call the center region the centromere okay so the centromere and of course the kinetochore sp spindle fibers that would be that part the specific part of your spindle fibers that would get attached to the centromere the specific region the central region of your chromosomes okay so again metaphase alignment of the chromosomes along the equator of your cell now the third stage of mitosis is anaphase now, uh, the most important event here is the splitting of your centromeres, okay? Centromeres, that center part of your chromosomes, that would be split, okay? This actually happens because the, the spindle fibers, those fiber-like structures from the centrioles become shorter, okay? So the shortening of your spindle fibers allow the centromeres to get split. Each chromatid now is going to separate as a chromosome. Okay, so again, the most important uh, event in your anaphase is the splitting of your centromeres that is caused by the shortening of the spindle fibers. Now, the last stage of your mitosis is telophase. This is the last phase. And um, this happens after the chromosomes reach the opposite poles. So once the chromosomes have reached the opposite poles, the chromosomes unwind, the spindle, uh, the spindle fiber break down, and of course, the nucleus and nucleolus reform. Okay, so we say this is the opposite of prophase. Okay, this is the opposite of prophase. Now, so if you are going to summarize the rest of the steps or the different steps in your mitosis, again, mitosis is a form of nuclear division. It's karyokinesis. It's the division of your, your uh, nucleus. There's prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Again, that's PMAT. Okay, our acronym is PMAT. Prophase is the longest phase. Metaphase, that is the shortest phase. And of course, the last two are your anaphase and telophase. Now, as for the most important event at each stage of your mitosis, we have the acronym CASO. Okay, use the acronym CASO. For prophase, the most important event is the coiling of the chromosomes. Coiling of the chromosomes, the coiling of DNA, the condensation of DNA into chromosomes. For metaphase, the shortest stage of mitosis, the most important event is the alignment of the chromosomes at the equator of your cell.
The anaphase, the most important event there, is splitting of the chromosomes. Okay, the splitting of the chromosomes because the spindle fibers here are becoming shorter. Now, for your telophase, we say this is the opposite of your prophase. Okay, so by opposite, we mean that your chromosomes here get uncoiled, your nucleus reappear, your nucleolus reappear, and of course, your spindle fibers disappear. So that is the opposite of your prophase. So again, remember the acronym SPMAT for the different stages of your mitosis. Also remember the acronym CASO for the different important events that happen at each stage of mitosis. You will be asked this in your independent work later. Any questions before I move on to cytokinesis? Any questions? Now, again, at the end of your uh, mitosis, you are almost able to form two daughter cells. Okay, so you can see here there are almost two daughter cells. But, of course, this is not going to be completed if your cell would not undergo the last stage of the cell cycle, which is cytokinesis. As we've mentioned, this is the division of the cytoplasm. Okay, this is a division of the cytoplasm. So here, again, cytokinesis, your cytoplasm is, it, it gets pinched. And so the cells, uh, the cell here is going to be pinched in half until such time that you are able to form two daughter cells. Now the cross chromosomes here unwind, spindle fibers break down. These are the events that also happens in your telophase, the last stage of your mitosis. Now there is a difference in your animal cell and your plant cell. In your animal cell, there is a formation of your cleavage furrow. In your plant cell, there is a formation of the cell plate. But eventually, the daughter cells are going to be formed. There's going to be two daughter cells formed during mitosis. Okay, so after mitosis, after one round, one round of cell cycle during mitosis as the M phase, there's going to be two daughter cells. 